Today, we will be talking about the top 10 most unique, snowy Mario Kart courses. Now, I know some ice-themed top 10s haven't been very well liked, but I do think that this one will actually be pretty good. So, let's get started. Now, before we start, I actually do want to say that since there are 12 in total snowy Mario Kart courses, then two of them will be snuffed for this list. And I will be counting remakes, so out of the courses that have multiple versions, I will be counting the one that is, in my opinion, the best. Like I said, this is just my opinion. If you disagree, please let me know in the comments below, but don't go crazy like you did in the top five worst YouTubers. So, Snowland is pretty generic, and it's honestly not that unique. I mean, just starting at the name itself, Snowland, you can see not a lot of time or effort went into this track to begin with. Not only that, but it's just not an enjoyable track to play on. And I know this is about the most unique courses, so maybe I should be talking about why it's good, but since the positives are really outweighed by the negatives, it's kind of hard. I mean, I guess it is good that it is better than two tracks, but it definitely deserves more time. So, Vanilla Lake 2 is better than Vanilla Lake 1 because you actually can see a lake. Apart from that, there's not really much to say here because it's just a big circle. And I guess the reason why it's better than Snowland is because the screen doesn't shake so you don't get nauseous while playing the track, which I always find enjoyable. Ice Ice Outpost is a really, really unique track if you actually think about it because it's the first ice themed track to not be on snow or ice the entire time. In fact, almost the entire time, you're on these pieces of land, I don't even know what they are, if they're plastic or carbon fiber, but it's covered in ice. And that's what makes this track unique. Now, on to the part where it's not that great, is the fact that the shortcuts rarely save you any time, unless you can aim it perfectly. And the reason why the shortcuts are a little hard is because since it is so slippery, you can easily just fall off and be set back a few places. I can see that they were really trying to make a good course, and they did, but it could have been improved slightly. Okay, so now that we've pushed aside a couple of the not-so-great courses, we're going to start to talk about some pretty good ones, such as Rosalind's Ice Roll. Now, the reason why this course is so unique is because there's a section where you can actually go underwater, and I know that's offered in a lot of other courses, but this is the first ice-themed course where you can actually do that. Now, it doesn't really make that much sense considering it is ice themed, so you would assume that it's freezing cold and the water would be ice rather than water, but it works regardless. But I do have to ask, why for Rosalina's first course was it ice themed? It would make much more sense if it was themed after the Mario Galaxy Observatory rather than ice, but I think the course worked regardless. Okay, so Frappe Snowland. A lot of you may be really surprised that I put it this close to number one, but in my opinion, it is a really good course. Now, you could argue that there's even less to offer here than Rosalind's Ice World, but I would have to say you can't really blame it because, seeing as it was a Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart DS track, none of those new gimmicks had quite been implemented yet, and what it did offer was actually pretty great. The giant snow statues of Yoshi and Mario are actually a nice touch, and the field of snowmen that some people complain about, but if you just go to the left or right, it shouldn't be too bad, and in the DS version, the snowmen are spaced apart farther, so it's really easy to get through. You would actually have to be not very good at the game in order to run into a snowman, especially since Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart DS's controls are pretty controlled. Now, as for the rest of the course, I think that the part where you drive through the ice valley is actually really nice. It just gives you a nice calm attitude, and it's really fun driving through there, especially when you're in first place, because you know there's nothing behind you. It's also a really neat area to throw bomb bombs, because there's not that much room to escape. So, DK Pass. I honestly think that the 3DS version is better, because the graphics have been updated and they look fantastic this time around and the gliding section and jumps on the hill were really nice touch. Now, onto the track that didn't really change, Snowball is still just so fun to avoid, especially since the CPUs never seem to be good at avoiding the Snowball. And the hidden item box is actually really neat this time around, especially since 
it only gives you really, really good items. Now the jumps near the end of the track are extremely fun to trick off of, and they will give you a lot of speed, and hopefully you'll be able to avoid snowballs. That's a thing too, there's snowballs at the end of the track, and you might need to avoid them, because if you're doing too many tricks, you could ram right into one. And when you finish out the track, you go over a lighting section, which was perfectly added. It made perfect sense to add a lighting section right here, and I can't believe that it just turned out so well. Because earlier, it was just a big jump, it didn't really work. But now with a lighting section, you can just, well, glide right through that entire area, and it actually makes the jump feel worthwhile. So Animal Crossing is a really, really unique track, because just Animal Crossing on its own has four different variations that has really never been seen in any Mario Kart track of any sort. I think the closest we ever got to this was Sunset Wilds in Mario Kart Super Circuit, but those three variations were just within the track itself, and not actually different tracks on their own. And the winter-themed track version of Animal Crossing is probably the best, because the music is just nice and peaceful and perfectly resembles winter. It doesn't try to make a reference to Christmas or anything like that, it just shows you winter itself, the beauty and serenity of winter. It just shows you the calm, coolness, and all of that. And I really enjoy that they did that. Instead of trying to make it really bright and vibrant like Sherbet Land, they just decided to go with more calm and mellow, and it really worked out very well. I think Animal Crossing, like I said, is a great course to begin with, and the winter theme just makes it even greater. So, GameCube Sherbet Land is a really good course, and it's better than the N64, but I think the Mario Kart 8 Remake is even better, especially considering, like I said with DK Pass, the graphics have been updated to a great standard. Now, everything is really shiny and vibrant, and I do know that it gives off the Christmas theme, but I think that's actually okay with this course, especially since the music fits with it. And it was sort of a Christmassy course to begin with, so it's not like they really changed too much about it. I think that the underwater section was just an amazing addition, and it really worked. A lot of people didn't really like Sherbet Land to begin with and the, the Double Dash, but I really think that the Mario Kart 8 remake is amazing, and I think it got what it deserved. Okay, you had to expect this one coming. DK Summit is an amazing course, no doubt about it. People say that DK Summit is a mix between DK Pass and DK Mountain, which are two amazing courses, and when they mix, it really does make a truly beautiful course. I think that this course is really good, probably because of the half pipe feature that they implemented into so much of the course. There's so many areas where you can go all on half pipe. In fact, even at the end, there is a half pipe with Shy Guys that you have to avoid. Now, the thick snow is a complaint that a lot of people have, but to be honest, it's sort of easy to avoid it, and if you're really that far behind and you fall into the thick snow, chances are you should have an item that should get you out of there pretty quickly. It is a relatively hard course, but that just makes it even better. I think that this course is well deserving of number two. So, Mount Wario. A lot of people really like Mount Wario. And can you blame them? I mean, it is one of the best courses in Mario Kart ever, if not the best. In fact, there is a YouTuber named Koopa Captain, and every year he does a top 100 Mario Kart courses. Now in 2014 and 15, Waluigi Pinball cracks number one. But this year, Mount Wario was number one. Mount Wario is without a doubt the best ice course, and probably one of the best Mario Kart courses ever. This track has you going down an icy mountain to begin with, until you go into a dam, and that section was really unique. It just came out of nowhere, and you didn't even know it was going to happen. And then you go through some nice woods, where there's some logs to trick off of, and after that, you just go down a mountain, and you go through the gliding section, and you can finish out the race. I think that this track was perfectly made, and there is nothing that can make this track better. In my personal opinion, this is the best Mario Kart snowy track, and it may be the best Mario Kart track. Thanks for watching.